hello friends uh, welcome back to the video series on uh, design of steel structural elements now this is uh, one more uh, design type of problem for uh, compression members now the description of the problem is a column 4 meter long has to support a factor load of 6000 kilonewton right this is a very heavy compressive load the column is effectively held at both ends and restrained in direction at one of the ends so design the column using I section and plates. Now the problem is uh, straightforward. Uh, the load which is to be carried is 6000 kilonewton. It's a very heavy compressive load. So the given things are like uh, L is equal to 4 meter. That is the length of the column is 4 meter. PD that is uh, design axial load that should be carried by the column is 6000 kilonewton okay then the regarding boundary conditions they have given that the column is effectively held, held at both ends and restrained in direction at one of the ends means it is something like this the column is there okay it is effectively held at both ends okay it means like this it is effectively held right and restrained in direction at one of the ends means uh, at one of the end it is restrained from the direction means it cannot rotate at that direction so uh, I will assume that this is that uh, other end which is restrained in direction but it is effectively held at both the positions it means this will become a fixed end right means here I am actually uh, effectively holding, uh, holding this point right and also I am not restraining it to rotate so it will this column could rotate like this it could have a deflection something like this right so there is no uh, actually rotation right so it will be straight and then it will come and since it is only effective head that is pinned so this will have this kind of thing so as per IS 800 right K for this one is I will just check how much is the K value in such cases right one of the ends is pin and the other end is fixed so k will be pointed k is pointed right i would take down that k value k value as 0 0.8 now we'll try to solve this problem so i will first initially write the formula to find the design actual load capacity that is pd is equal to fcd into a <coughs> So now PD is 6000 into 10 raised to 3 that is in Newtons. Since it is a heavy compressive load, I will assume FCD as 2000, 200, sorry, 200 Newton per mm square multiplied by AE. So therefore, I am getting the value of AE as 30,000 millimeter square. thousand millimeter square now how to uh, check an eye section which is having this much of area but there are there are no eye sections which is having this much of area and also we have to use uh, the column the means the column section should be an eye section and plate right so what I will do I will try to use try ISHB ISHB 450 ISHB 450 at the rate uh, 9.7 Newton per meter that is the unit weight of this uh, I section 9.7 Newton per meter so therefore for this section for this section the area is the, that is the cross section area is 11789 11789 millimeter square and uh, the width of flange is 250 millimeters you will get all these values from the steel table right and what is the remaining because out of this required 30,000 millimeter square how I am I am providing an I section with the area of 11789 so the remaining area is so the remaining area
it is 30,000 minus 11789. So it is coming out to be 18211 18211 mm2 now this remaining area is to be covered by the plates so what I will do I will assume some thickness of plate so assume uh, I will try to use 20 mm thick plates I will try to use 20 mm thick plates so each plate should have an area of because I am trying to use two plates one plate at each of the flange so each plate should have an area of 18211 divided by 2 so it is coming out to be 18211 divided by 2 so 9105.5 9105.5 mm square so therefore width of plate will be width of each plate will be 9105.5 is the area of one plate divided by the thickness what I have assumed so this divided by 20 so I'm getting 455 uh, mm, 455.3. So say uh, I will use 500 mm by 20 mm plates on each flange. on each flange of the I section ok so now I will try to find out how much area I have provided area provided is ok it is 11789 is the area of I section plus two plates each of width 500 and thickness 20 so it is coming out to be 11789 plus 2 times 500 into 20 so I am getting 31789 which is more than the required that is 30,000 so it might be uh, okay we will see now I have to check for the overhang is overhang of that plate which is attached to the flange so width of plate plate is 500 minus width of flange of I section is 250 this divided by 2 so each overhang is uh, it is coming out to be sorry uh, this is divided by 20 right so that is the thickness of the plate so it is coming out to be 12.5 which is less than which is less than 20 so it could be okay right okay now uh, for ISHB uh, 450 whatever I have chosen that is for ISHB 450 okay so for this the moment of inertia that is IZZ is uh, 40349 349 into 10 to 4 mm to 4 right similarly IYY right IYY of this ISHB 450 is 3045 3045 into 10 raised to 4 
millimeter is to four, right? Okay. Okay. Now this is the configuration uh, of the I section that is ISHB 450 with uh, two plates on each flange of 500 mm by 20 mm thick, right? Now for this whole section, I need to find what is the moment of inertia about ZZ axis and also I need to find the moment of inertia about YY axis. These values are actually the moment of inertia of the I section alone. But how to find the moment of inertia of this whole section that is I section along with two plates at the top and bottom. right? So I will find out that using the parallaxis theorem that is IG plus AD square. So first uh, I will consider this I section as one section this plates uh, sorry this plate as first section i section as second and the third as a uh, another plate right so first for the plate it is bd cube by 12 that is 500 multiplied by 20 cube by 12 plus ig that is this is ig plus area that is 500 multiplied by 20 multiplied by d d is actually the distance from here up to here right so this total distance is 450 plus 20 plus 20 uh, which is coming out to be 470 470 divided by 2 which is 235 means this distance is 235 I have to deduct 10 from that so it comes out to be 225 225 square I will multiply this by 2 because there are two plates right plus now for the I section this term multiplied by 2 is for first plate and the third plate and now for the I section for I section the IZZ is 4034 9.9 into 10 raised to 4 plus area of I section is uh, 11789 11 seven eight nine multiplied by now you can see the CG of I section falls on ZZ axis itself so there is no uh, distance between them so it is zero so I'm getting I ZZ of whole section as something around uh, I will just calculate that 500 into 20 cube by 12 plus 500 into 20 yeah I'm getting 1.41 1.416 into 10 raised to 9 millimeter raised to 4 okay similarly I will uh, calculate IYY okay for the plate now it will be 20 into 500 cube by 12 plus this term will be 0 because the CG of plate will lie on YY axis itself so this multiplied by 2 plus IYY of I section is 3045 into 10 raised to 4 so this term will also be 0 so I'm getting IYY as yeah, I'm getting it as 447 point one one into 10 raised to 6 so out of IZZ and IYY IYY is actually minimum so this I have to use to calculate the minimum radius of Gaussian that is R minimum that is R minimum is equal to I minimum which is 447.11 into 10 raised to 6 divided by the total area total area is 31789 so this I am getting 447.11 e raised to 6 divided by 31789 okay, under the root so I'm getting 118.6 as R minimum millimeters. Okay, so I can calculate KL by R. 
so k is 0.8 multiplied by so l is given as 4 meter 4000 divided by r mu is 118.6 so this i am getting out to be times 4000 divided by 118.6 so i am getting 26.98 as a KL by R value so I will refer table 9c because it's a built up section so built up section lies under the mm, buckling class C so as per table 9c FCD value is it is 214.9 per millimeter square therefore PD that is design actual load capacity is FCD 214.9 multiplied by the area which is 31789 so which is coming out to be 214.9 multiplied by 3173189 so I am getting 6831 kN Three one point four five, which is more than the actual factor design load, so hence it is okay. So this is how uh, we can design uh, a column that is built up member of an I section and uh, two plates. So this is the thing how we do it. Right? I hope you have understood. So we'll see. Uh, the lacing and pattern design in the next videos till then thank you bye